Hello, everybody. One of the things we've been working here on at CAS CIAC is learning how to use artificial intelligence to improve our uh, work and to help us in our jobs. Um, one of the things I came on was using uh, chat GPT to do lesson plans. So I just want to show you uh, uh, some things I've been toying around with. Hopefully, uh, it'll be worth your while and uh, give you an idea of, of how to use it. So I'm going to share my screen. On this first one, I um, typed in, um, create a 40 minute lesson plan for fourth grade physical education class with the objective of compare the size and functions of different muscle groups. So I put that in and I got a pretty decent uh, lesson plan here, including materials, uh, an introduction, um, and um, but it was sort of like a lecture. Uh, the first one was sort of a lecture. So I went back in and modified it and said, include three choices of activities in the plan. Uh, and then when I did that, I, you know, I got a really good lesson plan here about uh, different activities uh, that show fourth graders, fourth grade level to, um, uh, to learn about uh, muscles. Um, so, uh, in going through this, there was a couple of activities I would, uh, have modified, which is fine. I just, you know, could swap out different pieces of instrument of, uh, of, uh, equipment and, um, came up with a pretty decent lesson plan, taking all of about 10 seconds to, to spit this out. So I tried this again, uh, again with chat GPT. Um, and I said, create a 40 minute lesson plan for 10th grade physical education class with the objective of understanding that addressing each component of fitness is vital for the balance and development of the whole physical body. So that's the objective. And then I typed in prepare three choices of activities. Again, in a matter of like 10 seconds, it gave me this whole lesson plan, which, you know, you can follow and it, you know, it's pretty good. Um, certainly. Um, certainly something you can follow or at least work off of. You wanted to modify it. Um, uh, a section on circuit training, section on yoga and flexibility, uh, section on choices of, uh, of sports that uh, incorporate all of the components of fitness. Um, and then a conclusion. Um, the, the assessment is a little weak. It's sort of just like a formative assessment, but um, probably what you would use in the middle of a, of a unit. Um, puts in the uh, materials and uh, some adaptations for special needs students. Um, so not bad. You know, we've been spending a lot of time talking about um, how to uh, use chat GPT or artificial intelligence with students, you know, and what are the limitations. Um, but take a look at how you can use it as a teacher. Um, so if you give a, a, a student uh, uh, an assignment, say, um, in your high school uh, PE program uh, that they have to create a 30 minute workout for chest and back. Um, so, it, you know, sort of spit out this 30 minute workout for chest and back right here, um, in, you know, in different parts of it um, and a cool down all in 30 minutes. Uh, so if you give an assignment to a student, you know, they could very easily turn something back at you that's um, you know, artificially uh, generated through uh, chat GPT. Um, the, the other thing I did was I said, um, you know, sometimes you run tournaments in your class. Um, I, you know, I just plugged in these uh, school names and told it to create a 15 team uh, round robin tournament. Um, and sure enough, it did. Um, again, all in about five seconds, you know, rotating, um, throughout uh, everybody playing everybody else. So um, definitely an instrument you should uh, check out to use uh, as a teacher, you know, rather than, you know, always being concerned about what, what students are doing. There's another, um, there's another uh, uh, site, I guess you would call it, um, called uh, School AI. So School AI, it, it, you know, when I tried it for physical education, you know, I didn't get quite the quality of 
return when I just ask for a specific lesson plan through chat GPT. So here's school AI, you know, and they tell you a plug in, you know, um, the course you're teaching and the subject and the number of lessons. And then you just type in here all the objectives you want to hit for your lesson. And it's going to generate a course for you. Um, so when I did that, it was not really um, as structured well or as detailed as uh, doing a simple lesson through chat GPT. But it looks like the school AI is really committed to uh, building um, uh, units and syllabus and uh, lessons uh, through um, through their through their format here. Uh, one thing I did on school AI is I asked them to do me uh, um, to to uh, do an assessment for jump rope a jump rope worksheet is what they produced. Um, and, oh, and it's not bad. You know, didn't um, I, I would have added a few things, but you know, this this isn't bad. Um, kinds of questions that you might ask in a an assessment on uh, the benefits of jump rope. So check out Chat GPT. Try writing in some lessons. It could save you a lot of time. If you're a new teacher, so I had this the discussion with my wife, um, and she said, "Well, doesn't that diminish the?" background knowledge that a teacher would need, um, which is, you know, one part of the argument. And, you know, my side of the argument was, well, but then, you know, you open all those resources online to using in your classroom. So there's sort of two sides of this coin about using artificial intelligence as a teacher tool. Um, but you can always just modify whatever it spits out at you. You can just modify. Uh, but if I was a new teacher or a student teacher, you know, you probably do want to um, you know, go through the process of writing plans and thinking how you would structure it through so that, you know, you have an idea of when you see something that's a quality lesson. Um, in working with um, different school districts, uh, you know, you want to know your school district's policy. Uh, but I tell you, working with different school districts, um, policies on using artificial intelligence in the classroom, both as a teacher or as a student, you know, those policies really aren't fully formed in a lot of school districts. Um, but in any event, you might want to check with your, your district before you go ahead and do anything um, with, with students on it. All right, so that's just a, a quick little um, um, uh, demonstration of how you might use ChatGPT uh, to do your lessons. Um, it, you know, I think it's only going to get better and uh, be more useful as we go on. So um, I'd like to hear from you if you're using it, but um, good luck. Thank you.